so uh some of what i've discussed uh will seem radical <laughs> to many uh to me especially to many physicists and astrophysicists but here is uh, a pretty famous physicist uh stephen hawking uh discussing exactly what i just said uh so uh he's talking about uh gravitationally collapsed objects black holes of a mass of the Planck mass to negative five grams upwards, which were, were formed as a result of fluctuations in the early universe, the, the Planck energy density. Uh, they would carry an electric charge of up to uh, plus or minus 30 electron units. Such objects would produce distinctive tracks and bubble chambers and could form atoms with orbiting electrons or protons. So no, uh, Hawking, is describing how primordial black holes or intrinsic black holes could act as the nucleus of atoms and would, for all intents and purposes, form stable atoms. Well, that's not too far of a uh, leap from, uh, you know, what we're describing as every hadron is a black hole. Uh, uh, atoms are the... Uh, uh, the, the nucleus of atoms are black holes. And that's what he's uh, suggesting here, that primordial black holes uh, would form stable atoms. Um, a mass of 10 to the 17 grams of such objects could have accumulated at the center of a star like the sun. So Stephen Hawking is uh, saying how we should expect or anticipate to see black holes at the center of stars. And again, that's uh, one of our uh, key postulates. Uh, th th this uh, image here, uh, this is actually from another article that I wrote some time ago, uh, where discussing how uh, stellar mass black holes are essentially gravitational atoms, macroscopic atoms. Uh, so, you know, uh, what we call atoms uh, are, are gravitationally bound particle-like objects. And so, um, you know, as suggested by Hawking, uh, black holes could be at the center of most, most every star. And so uh, that's something we've discussed is uh, in conventional model of star formation. You have just... Uh, so something um, triggers the collapse of a stellar nebula, a hydrogen gas cloud. Um, and with a massive star, it goes through this cycle and forms a black hole. More likely, what you have is that a primordial black hole acts as the accretion nucleus for this hydrogen gas cloud, this nebula. Uh, and uh, that is what triggers the formation of this organized system, the massive star. And, uh, you know, it, it can go through the normal cycle of synthesizing uh, those uh, uh, um, multi-nucleon elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, you know, things pretty essential for life in the living system. Uh, and the supernova that produce the heavy elements, heavier than iron. Uh, but it's not so much that the, the black hole is formed during the during the, the, the death cycle, so-called death cycle of this star. It's just that uh, that hydrogen gas was fully converted into heavier elements, metals, uh, and the central black hole is then revealed, the central black hole that was always there. And this could go on uh, to trigger another cycle if it goes into another uh, hydrogen gas cloud form another massive star and re repeat the cycle that is it is a, a seed of creation <laughs>